Good morning, everyone. Day two. <laughs> I'm back. So, I just completed eight hours of sleep. I wasn't intentional, I don't think. Um, I actually wanted to do some videos on the Kaizen training. I wanted to <laughs> do that last night, but um, I put in a long day at work and when I came in um, I laid down and 9.30 I was out 5.30 I'm up so here I am this morning after 8 hours of sleep I feel pretty pretty good <laughs> so um, yeah I think that's my win I got 8 hours of sleep and that feels good it feels much needed um, so let's get this morning started. I'm going to take my meds. So, I take a thyroid pill. I don't have a thyroid anymore. Um, and then three pills are for the diabetes. I love water. Hmm. So, all right, so that's done. Time for blood sugar. I did forget to take my medicines last night because I fell asleep. Um, so I'm not sure what my blood sugar is going to be this morning. We shall see. Um, I don't really take medicines. I, I take insulin. Um, I'm supposed to take my long acting insulin before I go to bed. Um, finger. Okay, tick tock. Still not too bad and I forgot my medicine last night so it's 167. I want to see it down under 100 in the mornings. That's my goal. That's the goal the doctor set for you, for me. Um, my A1C, that's a number that measures your blood sugar for three months. And they want your A1C to be under seven. So back in January, um, my A1C was 10, which is high. It's like an average of a 200 and 80 something blood sugar so that's not good no. having high blood sugar it, um, it damages your organs it can damage your eyes I was suffering some eye damage and I really got serious to have my CDLs I have to um, be in shape you know be in decent shape and so I had to get my blood sugars under control and within two months, my A1C was down to 8.5, which is an average of 189. And my latest A1C, which was in July, was 8.1, which is an average of about 170. So um, the goal is to get it under seven. So I'm going in the right direction. Um, so it's all about tweaking the medications, tweaking the diet, um, getting more exercise that will be beneficial. So doing my morning routine, getting bouncing on the ball, that's gonna be good. Right now, I'm gonna take my insulin quick and then we're gonna get into a nice little um, workout. I 
stretching is good. Stretching is always good. Um, get your body warmed up. But hitting your target heart rate, um, those are things that I'm going to touch on as, um, as we're going through this process. But having a healthy heart, I mean, there's so many things, so many stressors out there in life that are already, you know, hitting us hard. So the more we do for ourselves to improve ourselves, the better. So, all right, so that's done. So now let's do some deep breathing. Deep cleansing breaths. So breathe in. Breathe out. So today, I wanted to kind of do some upper body. I want to do some punches, so I'm just going to bounce and I'm going to punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to do fifty of these. So ten more to go. Pushing off of my legs, increase my heart rate some. Breathe. And at first, you might not be able to do it very long. A couple minutes, though. A couple minutes of getting your heart rate up does better than nothing. So I'm going to consider that when I'm going to do about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. Okay. <laughs> that felt really good. That felt really good. So there's just stretching, getting yourself moving, going in the right direction. I like the yoga ball because it's low impact. Um, after having injuries, sustaining injuries um, from the car accident, um, it's not. <laughs> It's not always the easiest to move, so stretching, getting, getting some stretching in, trying to increase mobility. Ah. All right, well, that concludes this morning's morning routine. Um, my win is that I got eight hours of sleep. I'm excited to embark on this journey and share it every step of the way with you guys. Um, thank you for your support for, for watching my videos. Um, if you like them, subscribe to my channel and um, share my videos. Maybe there's someone else out there that um, needs my help, needs some encouragement. 
to um, just get up and do something. Do something different today, do something better. 1%, 1% every day. 365 days, that's 365% better than you were. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, <laughs> in a year from now, to look back and, and see the progress. So have a good day, peace. Um, just ask that God would bless you today and keep you safe. I was thinking about the serenity prayer that, you know, alcoholics and people in Al-Anon use and, you know, I was married to an alcoholic, so this is one reason why I know this serenity prayer, but it's about, number one, asking for help and having that support group, but the, the um, serenity prayer is basically telling you to have the courage to change the things that we have control over, that we can change. It tells us to accept the things that we can't change. And it asks for the wisdom to know the difference between those two. So, you know, some things we can change. We can change the way we think. We can change the way we eat. We can change the way we move. We can change... We can change little things. Make good habits. Make your bed every day. Brush your teeth every day. Um, take my medicine every day. You know, adding those positives, those good habits. It takes 21 days to make a habit, 21 days to break a habit. So if you're smoking, stop. Day by day, day by day, 21 days from now, you'll be not even wanting a cigarette anymore. If you drink too much alcohol, and I know that's it's probably, you know, the way out for some people. But do what's good for you. And what's good for you is to be the best version of you and to be a healthy you. So like I said, those habits, you want to get rid of one, start breaking it every day, 21 days, stop doing it. It'll become a habit You'll to not do it. You'll break that habit. If you want to do something, add a habit stretching every day. Do it for 21 days. It'll be a habit. Well, I love you guys and have a great day.